Master, who holds your heart part two? Hello, madam. Hello, master. Sam, greet madam and master. <laughs> Hello, madam. Hello, master. Hmm. Huh? Please come inside. Oh, the landlady's house is so big. It's nothing. Have you two gotten tired from the long journey? No, we're not tired. Please have a seat. Is it okay, madam? No problem. Sit down. Thank you, madam. Have some water. Yes. Thank you, madam. Th thank you, madam. I'm going outside to play. The air here isn't very fresh. <sighs> Sam, go outside and play with Master Eric. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Madam, Mom, I'll go. So, he looks really scary. I wonder if he wants to play with me. Oh. Hi, Eric. Um, my name is Sam. I'm five years old. How old are you? I don't need to introduce myself to you. Oh, I just wanted to get to know you. What are you thinking? Who would want to be friends with someone as poor as you? Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all the work. Try your best. Given my family situation, I'm very grateful that you are kind enough to let us stay here, madam. My husband and I are also busy. So with Sam here, I think Eric will be very happy. It will also be convenient for you to take care of both of them. Yeah, madam. Let's go see the room. Oh yeah. I've already asked Emily to tidy it up a bit, but you can arrange it as you see fit. Oh, thank you so much, madam. Hey! Huh, can I help you? You and your mother will be kicked out soon, just like the others before so don't have any illusions about staying in my house. Huh? Really? Hey, where are you going, Eric? You're just a servant. You don't have the right to ask me such questions. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Eric? Eric, you're going too fast. You'll fall. Eric, watch the steps. Eric? Eric? You're too noisy. Go away. I don't want to be friends with you. Huh? Eric? I don't want to be friends with something dirty. When you and your mother wash away the dead mouse smell, then you may come near me. Hey. Eric, you're taking it too far. Soon, you'll be back in that filthy place. So even if you bathe, you won't be clean. Do you think being born into a wealthy family is so great? I may be poor, but at least I'm polite because my mother taught me to be proper and kind. With your rude and impolite attitude, no one will want to be near you. No one will want to play with you. I have things that you will never have. What? Get out! I don't need those things. <laughs> Mom! 
Mom! Sam? Mommy! Sam, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't want to stay here anymore. What? Why don't you want to stay here anymore? Eric said, I'm dirty and poor, so he doesn't want me here. He also said he'll get rid of us soon. Did you say something that made him angry? I was just trying to get to know him. And I got angry when he insulted you so. I argued with him. Listen to me, Sam. I'm very happy that you stood up for me, but given our situation, you have to be more patient. Okay? But Eric is very rude and impolite. Madam Linda has helped us a lot. She gave us a beautiful room to stay in, pays us, and sends you to school. She provides what I might find very hard to give you. So, you must be obedient and patient. Because of Madam Linda's help, all right? Yes, I remember. Sam is very good. Now, stop crying. Let me help you, Mom. If you accidentally made Master Eric angry just now, remember to apologize to him properly later, okay? I'll find Eric and apologize to him later. Dad, do you get many days off? Eric, Dad is very tired from work. You must behave. Huh? Hello, darling. Are you tired from work? Change clothes and come down for dinner. I also have something to tell you during dinner. Okay, shower and change clothes first. Mom? Eric, come sit at the dinner table and don't let Dad scold you. Hmm. Yes, Mom. I just wanted to ask about Dad. Soon, you'll have to go with me on a long business trip abroad. You need to get ready because we'll be leaving in a few days. Are Mom and Dad away on a business trip again? Um, Mom and Dad are working to earn money so you can have a better life. But, that's not what I want. So, you should arrange for someone to look after Eric while we're away. Ah, this is Sarah and little Sam. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. New maid of our house. I brought her here to look after Eric. And Sam is around the same age as Eric, so he'll have a new friend. No, Mom! I'm really unhappy and don't need such ordinary company like those two. They'll probably get kicked out of here soon anyway. No, Eric. You can't say that. You're being rude. But they smell so bad. I don't want them here. Eric, you should be a little more reasonable. Looking down on others is your first failure. Mom and Dad should go play with them. I don't want it. Um, sorry, sis. Eric is so spoiled, so please forgive him. No problem, sir. Please stay home and take care of things. And Eric, please help us out. Sir, ma'am, please rest assured. That's fine. Daniel? What's wrong, Eric? I'm really frustrated right now. 
Who made Master Eric so angry? Mom just picked up some lady and a kid from the slums. Stinking and not even knowing what to do. Is it the new servant again? You think of a way to get rid of them with me. I don't want to see those stinky things every day. What do I get out of helping you? You can do whatever you want, as long as you get rid of those two. Maybe they're here to steal or mooch off us. At home, we have a good place to stay and delicious food to eat. So they're probably eager to stay. Eric! Huh? What did you say? How dare you come in here? Oh no! It's not good, young master! You're not allowed to insult my mother like that. My mother works here honestly to earn money, not to beg for money or steal from your family. Wow, Eric! This is the first time I've seen someone dare to scold you like that. It's good to have people like that to curb your arrogance. Um, I, I. Don't think having money makes you superior. You and your mom are just servants in my house. You have to listen to what I say. Understand? And now get out of here. Just because you have money, you think you can do whatever you want? Forget about that. Stop saying things that make no sense. Get out of my room. Now! What's going on, Eric Sam? What's going on with you two? Sam, what are you doing? Didn't you listen to mom? He keeps bad-mouthing my mom. I can't stand hearing him talk about my mom like that. I don't want this trash in my house. Mom, get them out. Eric, what did you do again? Do you want dad to punish you? Oh, no, ma'am, sir. I apologize on behalf of my son. He's just a naive child. I'll discipline him. Sam, apologize to the Master Eric, please. No, Sarah. It's not like that. Sam! Apologize to young Master Eric right now for Mom. Hi. I'm sorry, Eric. I apologize to you, ma'am, for causing a scene. All right, everyone. Let's head to our rooms. Mom has taught you how to behave, so why did you act like that? Why don't you listen to anything? Mom, I know I'm wrong. Please don't be mad at me anymore. Next time, don't behave like this again. I won't do it again next time. All right, go to sleep. Young Master Eric, the mistress is calling you down for breakfast. Told Mom that I don't want to eat. Yes, sir, Master Eric. Sarah, where's Eric? He says he doesn't want breakfast. What does he do that he doesn't even have breakfast? The master closes the door and his voice echoes from inside the room. Sam. Huh? Bring breakfast for Eric. Force him to eat for me. Me? Oh, yeah. Mom, I'm really scared. 
Bring breakfast up to young Master Eric, please. I do not eat. It's too much hassle. I said I don't want to eat. Oh! Ah! Eric! Why are you coming up here? The mistress told me to bring you meal upstairs. Please eat it so I can bring the bowl down. I don't want to eat. Take it downstairs. The mistress won't let me bring it down. Please help me by eating. No, I don't want to eat. Don't make it difficult for me. If you don't eat, the mistress will scold me to death. That's your job. Eric, please. No. I haven't done anything wrong to you. Why are you treating me like this? I'm just trying to do my job well. Huh? What? What are you doing? That's so unsightly. I just want to be friends with you. If you don't like it, just treat me as your servant. Well, you're the real servant. I've been trying my best. Sa Sam? Um, I have this for you. Stop crying. Huh? You're giving this to me? Uh, um, take it. The fierce tiger become a little cat now? Why did you come here? This is my house. Huh? 